In nature, metals occur in free states and combined states both. Metals such as gold and platinum, which are not reactive, or metals like silver, which are chemically less reactive, occur in free states. Most other metals exist in combined states in combination with other elements. They are found in nature in the form of minerals. Minerals are compounds of metals mixed with certain unwanted materials, mostly in the forms of sand and earthy impurities. These impurities are called gang. Minerals from which metals can be extracted economically are called ores. An ore contains a high percentage of metal. Magnetite and olivine are examples of minerals which contain iron. However, concentration of iron in magnetite is higher as compared to olivine. In addition, it is more economical to extract iron from magnetite than from olivine. So, magnetite is an ore of iron whereas olivine is a mineral of iron. In other words, all ores are minerals, but not all minerals are ores. The process of extracting metals from their ores is called metallurgy. Ores can be of various types based on the elements with which metals combine such as oxide ores, sulfide ores, carbonate ores, and so on. Let us see ores of some useful metals. Common ores of iron are hematite, magnetite, iron pyrite, and siderite. Aluminium can be extracted from bauxite, cryolite, and corundum. Zinc can be extracted from zinc blend, zincite, and calamine. Copper can be extracted from cuprite, copper glands, and malachite. Calcium can be extracted from limestone, gypsum, and floor spar. Silver can be extracted from argentite and horn silver. Lead can be extracted from galena, mercury from cinnabar, potassium from carnalite, and sodium from rock salt. Let's summarize what we have learned about the occurrence of metals. Iron is mined from the Earth's crust in its combined state as an ore. Hematite, magnetite, iron pyrites, siderite, and limonite are the most important ores of iron. Iron needs to be extracted from its ore before it can be used commercially. Let us see how iron is extracted from its ore. The extraction of iron from its ore is a three-stage process. It includes concentration, calcination, and smelting. In the concentration of ore stage, lighter impurities are removed from the ore. In the calcination stage, moisture and volatile impurities are removed from the concentrated ore. In the smelting stage, iron ore is reduced to iron.
In this lab, you will be taken through the steps of iron extraction. Let us start right away. Note, iron extraction takes place at high temperatures, and hence, all personnel wear protective equipment to keep safe from potential hazards. Iron is mainly extracted from its principal ore, hematite. Ore obtained from the mine contains gang, which largely consists of silica and earthly impurities. The light earthly impurities are removed in the first stage of extraction. Concentration. Let us see how this happens. First, powdered ore is added into the hydraulic classifier. Click the powdered ore to add it to the classifier. A jet of water is passed through the bottom of the reservoir. This thoroughly mixes the content. The lighter gang particles move up and are washed away from the top. The denser particles of the ore settle at the base and are collected via an outlet. The concentrated ore still has volatile impurities in it, so it has to be processed further. It is taken for calcination which is the second stage in the extraction process. The second stage of iron extraction takes place in a reverberatory furnace. Concentrated ore is poured onto the hearth of a reverberatory furnace. Click the concentrated ore to add it to the furnace. The burning coal present in the furnace increases the temperature inside. The ore is subjected to this high temperature in a limited supply of air. As the ore gets heated sufficiently, moisture and volatile oxides from the ore evaporate and the ore becomes porous. The resulting calcined ore is now ready for the third stage, smelting. Smelting is carried out in a blast furnace. The blast furnace is a tall structure and can be divided into zones depending on the temperature and the reactions that take place in each zone. The calcine ore collected from the reverberatory furnace is mixed with coke and limestone in the ratio 8 is to 4 is to 1. This mixture is called the charge. The charge is poured into the furnace from the top through the cup and cone arrangement. Click the charge to feed the furnace. A preheated blast of air is sent into the furnace from the bottom. This air is at a high pressure and at an extremely high temperature of 1500 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, coke, which acts as a fuel, burns and produces carbon dioxide in the combustion zone. The carbon dioxide formed, moves, burns and produces carbon dioxide in the combustion zone. The carbon dioxide formed, moves up the furnace and reacts with more coke, thus getting reduced to carbon monoxide. This being an endothermic reaction, reduces the temperature to 1200 degrees Celsius. The carbon monoxide formed in the combustion zone rises to the reduction zone at the top of the furnace. The temperature in this zone is 400 to 700 degrees Celsius. Carbon monoxide reduces the iron oxides in the ore to iron at this temperature. The iron formed at this temperature is in its solid form and is called sponge iron. The sponge iron moves down and melts in the fusion zone and slowly sinks to the bottom. This molten iron has some dissolved impurities. 
Meanwhile, the limestone present in the charge decomposes to give calcium oxide. Calcium oxide reacts with silica impurities in the ore to form the slag. Calcium silicate in the slag zone. This molten slag sinks to the bottom of the furnace. The molten slag being lighter floats over the molten iron. The slag and iron are then collected from different outlets at the bottom of the furnace. The volatile impurities form hot waste gases and are removed through an outlet at the top of the furnace. The molten iron obtained is called pig iron. It is solidified in sand molds and cast into various shapes. Most blast furnaces continue to operate continuously for 10 years once commissioned, with only periodic shutdowns for maintenance purposes. Let's quickly recapitulate the steps in the extraction of iron. The powdered ore is concentrated in a hydraulic classifier. Here, the lighter impurities from the ore are removed. Next, the concentrated ore is calcinated. This involves heating in a reverberatory furnace. The volatile impurities and moisture are removed in this process. The calcined ore is smelted in a blast furnace. During this process, iron oxide is reduced to iron. The molten iron obtained is called pig iron. It is solidified in sand molds and cast into various shapes. <laughs>